Hi everybody, it's Leah. Um, these are the papers that I decided to use for my layout today. They're the O oh Darling collection from Crate Paper and Teresa Collins Life Emporium. I love this paper. It's beautiful. These browns and um, pinks and natural woods. A beautiful collection. Um, these are both 6x6 six six and I also use the 12x12 12 12 from O oh Darling just to give a little pop so that uh, the layout didn't look too muddy. Um, these are 12x12s 12 from the Crate Paper O oh Darling collection. Um, I used one for my background, and uh, I thought about using it to mount, but I decided not to. Um, these pictures are from my garden. I use an Instax camera, and I remove the pictures from the frame, and I'll put a link on how to do that below. Um, here I just trimmed them up the side because I didn't want it to uh, have that white band, and I wanted to still maintain that vintage kind of look of uh, Polaroid picture. Um, yeah, so uh, I chose this background because uh, in the layout uh, by Celine from Selma Scrap, uh, she used a, a she pulled a color a gray out of the bird pictures that she did, and and I love that idea of pulling my first layer um, from that. So that's what I do here, and then I realize just after I lay this one down that I forgot to trim up a little bit from the bottom and the top, and so I'm not going to have. Uh, a gap between the pictures, <laughs> which is what I had originally intended um, to have happen, so that it would be like there's a frames around both pictures, it would be double frame, but oh well, it is what it is. So I just trim it up, and um, once I get it um, trimmed along the side, I realize I made it a little wonky. So um, what you'll see is me just trying to uh, make them both wonky because. If one thing's not going to be straight, I'm not going to sit there and try to make it straight. I'm just going to work with it and go with it. And sometimes you just got to do that. Uh, yeah. So once I get them mounted on the uh, first layer, I decide I'm going to uh, do this technique. I saw Jen Show here on Facebook um, do this with uh, gelatos. And I think I saw her do this also with this, uh, what am I using? Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. I picked up a lot of stuff, guys. It's been a while. I know I've been gone a while. Um <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you just add water to, uh, after you dab, uh, the, the gelato or, um, the ink on the paper and just spread it out on your, I just use a cellophane wrapper from one of, uh, some paper, some, uh, embellishment kit I had just laying around. Um, and I just use the water to smear it. I, I wish I'd put more water with the pink layer. Um, I do another color too. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just looks a little spritzed. What is this? Worn lipstick. And the next color I use is Tea Stain. There it is. I love this color. I realize that there really is... Oh, I'm sorry. Tea Dye. Um, there really is a difference between using Distress Inks and just using your regular inks. Um, there's just a liquidity to the Distress Inks. Tim Holtz really just... I'm sorry. He just knows what he's doing. And uh, if he says, hey, buy my product, um, buy his product. <laughs> Don't try to get a substitute or makeup too many of your own substitutes because you might not get it right uh, off the bat. Buy his first and then figure out how to make it yourself later, I guess. Um, yeah, so I just finished up this technique. I want a really nice base. Um, uh, the Selma Scrap layout had, she does these beautiful watercolors. Really check out her um, her uh, her blogs. I have the link to both of them down there now. I use this blow dryer and it is older than I am. It is like from the 70s, mid 70s or something. My mom got it before she married my dad. Um, and I, I took it. <laughs> You'll also see the stapler I took from her as well <laughs> before I moved out um, eons ago to, to live on my own. But um, yeah, I love that blow dryer and it works really good. So I blow dry <sighs> tangent front and back um, just to make sure that my paper stays nice and flat and doesn't get warped. So now I'm checking out, I got Heidi Swap Spray Mist. They are on clearance at Michael's for $2.50 each, certain colors, not every color. Um, and I'm just trying to decide between um, this color, which is uh, sea foam, and the other one, which is mint. And I, I really love that green stripe paper, and I really, really want to use it. I use a little bit of it um, just so that I have a something that grounds this um this uh this uh shine mist to the rest of the the layout so i'm just gonna shake it up oh what i did is i turn it upside down so that all the colors mix together and then i shake it that way i'm not like shaking forever um yeah and then right after i did this i was like man i wish i hadn't done that corner i really wanted it to be like 
a group and I, I, fl I, I flicked it too hard. Anyway, blow dry, blow dry. Um, and then I put more because when I placed down my foot, I realized you couldn't see any of them. And then even when I place it down again, you can't see very many of them. But I love it. I love these shine mists. I'm using them for everything. I am obsessed. I have like six colors now. I still want to get the gold and the white, but I have a lot of different colors. You'll see them eventually. Um, so now I'm trying to decide what my next couple of layers are going to be. You can see, again, I, I keep the uh, the photo on my phone from my Pinterest where I can refer to it because, you know, I am um, trying to mimic the look of this layout. I mean, I don't want to copy it completely, but I really loved it so much and I really wanted to get something. I wanted the design the same, but with my papers and, um, yeah, I just really, I love them. So I loved it. It's such a beautiful look. All of her pages have beautiful, beautiful looks. So I trimmed this paper this blue paper and after I do it I decide it's just too small and so you won't see it on camera because my camera cuts out a few times <laughs> that's why this really choppy editing um but um I, I cut a bigger piece and you can see there I've cut a bigger piece I also cut this um uh yeah that pink paper because I love that little teal splotch so now I'm testing out the pens and here's where I make a mistake I I start drawing on the piece I'm actually using to test out my colors and I realize, oh, the smaller one was the one I was supposed to be testing it on. So uh, I, luckily enough, that's going to get color covered by an embellishment. So I just outline all of them. This is a black marker from Le Pen and um, ooh, get my list out of all my stuff. Uh, yeah, from Le Pen. I just picked it up. It was like $1.50 at AC More or something. Um, I think about outlining that white paper and then I decide against it. Um, I'm going to distress it instead because it has so many, it's a grid. Like it didn't make any sense for me to add anything else. So, um, I've seen people do this and I'm no good at it. So <laughs> I use one of my homemade tools. Um, this is foam that I use for, um, like wrapping pipes. I needed a pipe wrapped and it turned out it was the wrong. I got indoor instead of outdoor. So I have like three huge pipe wraps and who needs that. So <laughs> I cut them up whenever I need to distress something and, uh, use it as an applicator. So I'm going to uh, decide that I like this. I'm going to distress all of the pages um, because I do love a good vintage look. I mean, I am using a lot of pink. You'll see my next layout, a lot of pink. Um, you guys know that's not really me, but um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's becoming more me. I'm becoming a little bit more uh, with the feminine and not so much like these kind of boyish colors. I, I hate saying that boy is blue and brown and girl is pink but you know unfortunately that's uh <laughs> that's how some people see it okay so um I could not find my snail applicator and so I was forced to use glue and uh you know I mean once I get stuff down I pretty much know why I want it but I wanted to be sure to leave a little space so I could tuck stuff under and uh, I glued along the edge and then this is where I start to have problems it becomes messy I get glue everywhere everywhere I mean on everything so I just I don't have a glue eraser so I just before it gets too dry, dry or gets too tacky I use my finger and I rub it and it just peels right off that's great it's um scotch scrapbookers glue oh that tag is from uh it'll come to me I have it right in front of my face it's uh no I don't what is that from Oh, it's, oh, this washi tape is all gifts from people and stuff I picked up at the, like, store. This, yeah, this was Christmas. My stepbrother gave it to me. That card will come to me. Project Life! It's Project Life! <laughs> it's a Project Life baby girl. It was on clearance. See, I knew it would come to me. I don't know, I, you know, I wrote everything down so I wouldn't forget anything and I've forgotten everything. Um, the, the, uh, this gold heart is from the dollar spot at, at uh, Target. And it's left over for my son's Valentine's. And so there were tags um, in the, and you can see if you refer back to the, um, to the scrap uh, book page that I'm uh, lifting from, um, she had different black tags and I didn't want black in the layout. Um, I knew I wanted gold. So I took a part and I cut that apart and made it into like to replace the tags. So now I'm trying to decide, uh, do I want to add more washi? Do I want to add more tapes? And then the frames, I go back and forth through the entire layout, trying to decide whether or not I'm going to use a frame around one of the pictures because it wasn't in the layout, but I just, I really, I couldn't decide. The other, the wood frames were recollections. They were from Christmas. These are the Heidi Swap 
memory keepers. It's for her like day journal thing, you know, the day planner. Um, I love that little gold one. I go back and forth forever. Uh, this stamp is from Fiskars. Um, I love it. I have, I, I love these stamps. They, uh, they say to for use of Project Life. So she had a lot of arrows stamped on um, her layout and I wanted to recreate it. And I was so happy that I had a stamp that mimicked that look. Um, so I'm just going to do it down the center and uh, over there in the corner. I keep forgetting about that corner and I have to keep <laughs> moving stuff out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, my favorite stamp I've ever bought. I think I got it for like four bucks at Michael's on clearance. Still on clearance. It's an orange blossom. It has like, there were three distinct areas that ended up coming out, um, when I stamped the first one there, you'll see the postcard part of it. This part, you'll see the word blossom. And then the bottom where the actual oranges are shows up there. I wanted to add just some more interest to the page because the paper was nice, but it needed a little something. So now I'm going to debate where I want to put this down and I'm going to be bold and I'm going to stick it down. And I, I should have, it should have been more straight. And I did that. And I was like, well, I did it, so that's what's going to happen. So <laughs> I distressed that card earlier. Um, it says, I love today. And I love that baby girl collection. I've been holding on. I wanted to get it so bad, and I held out for so long. And then finally I was like, Leah, just buy it. So I did. I'm um, going to staple it. That staple, again, older than me. <laughs> and uh, here's the fun of using glue. Uh, it's just waiting for it to cut. And I really – I try to store them upside down, but they – they, they sometimes pull if you don't get the little stem right back inside there. So yeah, I glue that down and I glue the one down and I'm really happy with the way it's going. Um, I'm glad that I used the gold instead of doing a brown or a black tag. I think it would have weighed the look of it down too much and I really wanted it to light and dare I say shabby chic. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop up the corners here with pop dots. These are from the dollar section at is it even a dollar anymore, Michaels? No, it's like a dollar fifty now. Ugh, inflation. Um, <laughs> I pop up the two top corners, and then later, what you don't see is after I take all the pictures at the end, I'm like, uh, I need to pop the other. I pop one more corner up. I think the bottom left corner, because um, after I put all the embellishments, it looked a little like flat. So yeah, so I go back and I do that. Um, and I didn't trim the top of that white paper when I pulled it out of the pack because I loved that little bit of roughness. I didn't want it to be too clean, you know. I'm going to glue this down because I don't like uh, – it was too rumpled and I didn't. I just didn't like it. I, I wanted it to stick now. Stick, please. Okay. <laughs> um, and this frame again. Uh, this frame again. I go back and forth with this frame uh, the entire hour that I work on this layout. The layout took about an hour. I had to clip this down a lot because it was just taking a long time. Um, okay, so now down the strip, she used a stamp, and it was like that movie countdown, the five, four, three, two, one, at the beginning of old movies, and I, I didn't want to, I was debating whether I should use numbers, and then I was like, it's kind of weird, because I don't, I don't think it made any sense, so, um, I'm using, uh, reinforcement, reinforcements, uh, that I got for a dollar at Tuesday morning. I got a bunch of them. They're for my son's scrapbook, for his um, science scrapbook, but I borrowed select mm -hmm. them because I paid for them. Um, <laughs> and instead of using a stamp or those numbers that you saw before, I just use those and I like them. And I don't take the center out of the reinforcement. Um, that heart uh, card is, again, from the uh, Project Life uh, baby girl. And I cut first a heart out that's from that center pink heart because it's a grow and I was like, oh, perfect. And then um, I like the wood because um, I love that just natural look. And I layer them together and then I'm like, ah, I mean, I think there were only two hearts in the picture. It's hard to see. So I decide uh, this is a good opportunity to use that teal paper. Um, so I make a bigger heart out of the teal stripe. I'm so happy with this. It looks so good when it comes together. Um, I'm just going to stay. Well, I'm going to attempt to staple them. It takes me a while to figure out how to get it to work <laughs> in the stapler. I try first with my hand and then I'm like, no, I just need to just put it down and do it this way. And it works so much better. I'm very happy with it. And, uh, but I'm not going to glue it down just yet. Um, cause I need something and I'm like, I need a label. And I'm like, Oh God, do I have to make a label? I don't want to make a label. So, <laughs> um, I start looking, uh, and I have these, um, <sighs> these uh stickers collections they're um, remarks labels from american crafts and i pick one from the journal collection uh they're brown 
which work perfectly. And I was like, oh, it's transparent. So now from now on, whenever I use these, I'm going to write on my layout first and then stick the sticker over it. So I don't have to worry about using like a stays on or some kind of pen that I just don't have right now. <laughs> I don't want to spend the money on a pen. I'm, I'm cheap. So, um, yeah. So I, uh, I glued this down and I'm really happy with the way that it looks. I love the clear label. It doesn't detract in any way from, um, the layout at all. I think it would have been fine with a, a, an opaque label, but I just didn't have any paper that I wanted to use or, um, a punch or, um, and the stamps that I had, I didn't really like it and I didn't want to use too much more paper. I, I don't know. I just got, I liked it better. Leah just liked it. It's fine. I liked it. Um, yeah, I should have anchored my hand better. Um, <laughs> up close, these, uh, lines are a little suspect around the hearts. <laughs> okay. So here I am. Oh, that, uh, that ink is from, uh, EK Success EK Tools. Um, I decided to go back, um, and put another arrow because there were more. And, uh, this stamp I love. It says, uh, the best things in life aren't things. And it reminded me because the arrows with it, it reminded me of the stamp that she used on her layout. And, um, so, I mean, well, I mean, Celine's were in French. Mine's not in French, but you know, I don't speak French. So there you go. Uh, well, I try, but I, I'm not very good at it. So <laughs> tangent. So yes, oh, I was so happy that I stamped it in one shot. Oh my gosh. I'm always afraid my stamping's going to come out so bad, but I'm getting better at it. Um, this is from the Teresa Collins paper and the chevrons, uh, match perfectly with the chevrons that were on the, um, uh, layout Celine did. So I am just going to cut them out individually. I love the wood grain. It pulls in more of that wood grain because you can't really see too well the, the wood grain paper behind, ooh, sorry, behind the, um, photos. So I was really happy that I had something that would, um, would do that without having a stamp because I didn't want to stamp. She didn't stamp hers. She used, um, some kind of embellishment. It looked like it might have been fabric, um, chevron. So I really wanted to have that. Um, I'm going to glue two of them down and then I'm going to have to decide whether or not I want to do a third one. I wanted to make sure the first one pointed right at where it says, I love today. Um, cause it was, it was a great day. Um, it was beautiful. The sun was shining and I was, the baby was asleep. I got to run out and take a picture. Um, I was so glad I had my Instax because I had no pictures that I wanted to scrapbook at the time. And I've since, you know, uh, printed a lot of pictures. So I have a lot of stuff to do um for layouts so now I'm going to debate the third one and she has only has two and I was like oh you know I understand it it just filled up the page too much and then um I was like oh I'll just uh stick this here because I think there was something above that in the picture and I liked it I would have done it regardless oh right you see the lines right there uh, the pen mark lines, they're also in that small cluster on the left. Um, I did that sometime when my camera cut out and, uh, it was just to mimic the stitching, um, on the page. I, I, it's very hard to use my sewing machine because I'm always scrapbooking when the baby's asleep and I don't want to wake him up. Um, and I have to use his changing station. I pulled the thing off to use as a desk to do my sewing. Um, and it's right next to his crib, so that's not going to work. <laughs> I choose this embellishment. It says simple things and I love it. It is from Recollections Simply Pastel. Um, these brads are from G GCD Studios. It's the Splendor Collection by Heather Totsi. They are metal rimmed glass brads. I love, I love a good glass brad with the metal rim. They're beautiful. Um, I debate whether or not I want to use the teal one and I go with one that has more of a brown to pull the brown in from the photo. Um, where did I get these? Tuesday morning. I find so much great stuff at Tuesday morning, but this is the second collection of glass brads that I've gotten there, and I'm very happy with them. They're beautiful. They hold up really well. Um, the actual brad part splays very nicely. Um, this, yeah, washi tape, just to make sure that it doesn't scratch the back and it stays put because I don't want that hole to get bigger. Now I'm referring back. I'm trying to decide. What am I deciding? I don't know what I'm deciding. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, oh, there was this palm tree because she, she took the picture when she was in Dubai and I was like, I don't want to put a big, like, I didn't have any flowers and I didn't want to add another flower because I just don't, I didn't want to. So I come up with this idea that I'm going to make a flag out of washi tape and these, uh, bronzy, brassy color, like copper, another copper, copper colored, um, paper clips that I got in the dollar spot thing at, um, Target. Um, it came in a little vial, like a little, um, 
science vial. Here I am pushing. I pushed the back of the paperclip down. I didn't want to scratch it. Um, I put a hole through the paper. So I'm going to debate whether or not I'm going to cut it, cut it in a chevron. And I decide against it because I felt like there were just so many chevrons already. I mean, all over the paper. I just didn't want to be too redundant. And I don't mind that it's just kind of a floppy splotch. <laughs> I like it. It kind of weighs the paper down a little bit, anchors it a little bit. Oh, letters. I never feel like I have enough letters. I don't know why I zoom in. There were just letters everywhere. I mean, I, and I kept covering things up and I couldn't decide on letters and I'm back and forth. And I'm like, do I want the thickers? Do I want big letters? Do I want it? Cause she used, um, tiles and I was like, oh, tiles. Oh, okay. I have tiles. So, um, my title is much smaller and I think people are going to think that the title is that's best things in life aren't things, but it's actually really in bloom. Um, in, uh, the layout that I was inspired by, um, she had put the name of the type of bird underneath in a black letter. And that was her third black element. So she had the letters and then the tag on the side, and the tag on the top. So I was like, I thought about doing the gold circles and I decided, no, I want to use a tile because I like the way the tiles looked. Um, just to bring a little bit of gold. Now I'm going to outline it. Um, hers was outlined, but it looked like it was on a smaller paper. It looked like it was on eight and a half by 11. Um, so I was concerned that the it was going to look too wide, but it didn't. Once I, I put the outline there um, with my Le Pen. Um, oh, apropos, it's French. Um, I was really happy. It looked more um, put together and it looked more anchored to the page. Um, so here I'm going to do my journaling. It says, last year was the first time I had ever planted bulbs in the fall. I was so glad to see they survived two springtime snowfalls. So after this, I'm going to put the date. That is an Amy Tangerine... Uh, roller stamp date stamp and that one actually the sentiments on it are travel sentiments so i do use my sentiments just not um not for this one so yeah this is it close-ups i hope you enjoyed seeing a scrapbook layout um by me um i haven't done a 12 by 12 in so long so i'm really excited um to be doing this and especially now that i have a uh, my photography classes in full swing. I'll have lots to scrapbook there and just going back over some old photos and pull them out of my phone and my computer and, and get those out there and, 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 you know, have them tangible, something I can flip through and look at and awe and be happy about. So thank you so much. And, uh, right after this, you're going to see some stills. You guys have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching and definitely look for more scrapbook layouts for me. All right. Take care.